Vagar versus Caraxes. Dreams didn't make us kings, dragons did. If the Targaryens are known for one thing more than their sleek blonde hair, it's their dragons. And in House of the Dragons, two names stand out the most. First being the monstrously powerful Caraxes, also known as the Bloodworm, and the other the ancient and epic Vagar. But which one among them takes the bragging rights for being the most powerful or the greatest one among the two? Well, that's exactly what we're here to find out. So welcome back to Factolic, folks, and today we've got a proper dragon head-to-head -head among our midst. So Vagar versus Craxus, who's bigger and stronger between the two of them? Well, there's simply no second thoughts over the fact that Vagar was a larger dragon than Craxus. After all, Vagar is the second largest dragon that Targaryens ever bred after Beleriand. Vagar was a dragon ridden by Queen Visenya Targaryen during Aegon's conquest. Vagar was also the largest female dragon that ever lived. Vagar's jaw was large enough to swallow a whole horse, and she was easily almost as big as Beleriand by the time she died. That was quite the feat since Beleriand the Black Dread was the largest dragon that ever lived. On the other hand, Caraxes, when it comes to size, was nothing really special. He was a huge dragon, but nowhere near Vagar. In fact, Vagar was described as twice his size. And while he might have been leaner and larger than other dragons in his brood, the winner of this comparison is clear. When it comes to size, Vagar was clearly a bigger dragon than Caraxes. However, we know all too well that size isn't everything, and in combat, strength and experience is what truly matters. But having said that, when it comes to strength, too, a dragon's size and the might of its dragon fire are the determining factors, usually, of course. So, as we already know, size-wise, Vagar was clearly superior to Craxus, and when it comes to her dragon fire, it was quite potent as well. You see, Vagar's dragon fire was known to literally boil knights in their armors. It's also a well-known fact that Vagar, along with Beleriand and Meraxus, burned 4,000 men alive. Now, that's a pretty impressive stat if you ask me. Apart from that, Vagar's roar was described as being thundering enough that it could shake the foundations of Storm's End. Straight up terrifying. Caraxes, on the other hand, was the mightiest young dragon, but his abilities weren't described in the epic manner as were the abilities of Vagar, who could fit an entire horse down her jaw. We couldn't say that he had a dominant roar, potent dragon fire, or was the largest. His history wasn't as meticulously written and followed as Vagar's. Still, he managed to defeat Vagar, so that in and of itself speaks a lot about the Bloodworm's ferocity and battle prowess. And part of it probably lies in the prowess of Daemon as a dragon rider. But there's no denying that even though Craxus was significantly smaller than Vagar, he managed to defeat her in Battle Above the God's Eye at Harrenhal, and that makes him the clear winner when it comes to strength, in my book. That's not to say that this was an easy fight for him, as he did end up taking lethal injuries in this fight as well. In the end, both Vagar and Craxus died during battle, but Craxus managed to take down a dragon twice as large as him and survive long enough to pull himself out of the water, which clearly makes him the superior dragon of the two. However, if it came down to the question about which one among the two is the greatest, I'd still have to say Vagar. Because had the battle above the god's eye took place with Queen Visenya Targaryen on Vagar's mount, the result may have been pretty different given the bond that the two had with each other. Vagar was most formidable and dangerous as Visenya's mount. Visenya rode Vagar into battle all over the Seven Kingdoms during Aegon I's campaign, roasting strongholds in the Riverlands, the Trident, and most, but not all, of Dorne in the name of House Targaryen. And Visenya and Vagar were so great that they didn't even need to engage in battles. The mere sight of the dragon already forced their opponents to surrender and bend to the mercy of the Targaryens. But for me, Vagar with Queen Visenya Targaryen wins this head-to-head. -head. But with Prince Aemon Targaryen riding Vagar, the winner would definitely be the Bloodworm with the rogue prince on his back. And that's just about it. Do you agree with this result? Which dragon takes the win for you? Do let us know down in the comments below. We hope you enjoyed the video. Now, if you want to keep watching more amazing head-to-head -head videos like these, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and press that bell icon too for the latest updates. This is Vactolic. We'll see you around with another new video. Peace out.